Welcome to your source for research, innovation, news, insights, and commentary. This is your Research Business Daily Report. Where we're sponsored today and this week by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. We have a brief follow-up today on Wark's J&J story that we first brought to you on Tuesday. You'll recall that J&J's consumer product research is being altered to make important brand equity comparisons between the, its major brands. VP Global Strategic Insights Brenda Armstead is explaining that fully comprehending the brand score is a crucial research building block. When that point is reached, she says, J&J will move on to understand the emotional connection between brands and consumers. J&J needs that to construct meaningful brand-consumer relationships in which the brand is literally integrated into consumers' lives as best can be done. Next, social media guru and author supreme Perry Marshall is back, as we promised, to deliver smart analysis about Facebook, among other things. He's predicting that Facebook is going to triple its current revenues by the summer of 2015. And that boom projection is based on his personal experience with another company just a few years ago. Now, the, the, the reason that I was so confident in saying that, that Facebook is going to triple in the next two years is I'm deep in the trenches and I've been here before. So, so I started, I started advertising, uh, on Google, um, uh, 12 years ago, uh, almost 13 years ago, uh, back when it was absolutely brand new, uh, and nobody really understood it. And for about a year and a half, it was under the radar. Nobody really understood it. And then it went supernova. Uh, because a few people started figuring out and affiliates started grabbing a hold of it. And I saw this happening three years before Google went public. And I had an inside row uh, front seat to the whole thing, okay? And I knew what was going on. In fact, I understood what was going on so well that I did not buy Google stock. Why didn't I buy Google stock? Because you could make far more money buying clicks and getting customers than you'd make buying Google stock. I don't want to double my money in two years. I want to double my money in two weeks. And that's what people were doing with Google advertising, okay? Because Google introduced a platform that really, really worked. It was a paradigm shifter. It was, it was a category breaker, okay? So I saw this happen 10 years ago. I'm telling you, it's happening again because Facebook has finally gotten good enough. And I could go into the technical reasons why, but basically the really smart advertisers, the ones, they, they are as meticulous about watching their marketing ROIs as day traders are, well, you know, when, when they do what they do or, you know, you know, basically, you know, digital jockeys, people that sit behind a screen and watch the data happen and, you know, know, like, they understand the beast from the inside out. And those people are getting phenomenal returns on advertising in Facebook, um, much more so than Google or, or Twitter or email marketing or banner ads. And, and, and it's because of the kind of targeting that Facebook now has uh, that they that didn't used to. So Facebook is absolutely going to grow like gangbusters in the next two years. Originally, Facebook could only target based on people's likes and interests. So somebody's a Mick Jagger fan or somebody likes, uh, you know, Tom Cruise or they read a certain book or whatever. Well, selling to people based on things like that, it's possible, but it really requires an extremely advanced marketer to figure out how to make it work. Now what Facebook has is you can target people in certain incomes, in certain professions. You could target just dentists. You could target just uh, people who buy motorcycle paraphernalia. Um, you, and then you can combine it with other things. You could say, 
okay, I just want people who are into motorcycle stuff who are between age 40 and 55 and who live in these kind of neighborhoods or like their house is worth more than $150,000 or something like that. And now you're... You can combine that with some of the other things like, oh, you know, they like Harley Davidson or something like that. Now, all of a sudden, you're getting extremely targeted um, advertising to the exact right people that you want. Now, there's another thing uh, that's equally important. Facebook is the only company that's figured out how to make mobile phone advertising work. I know lots of small in the trenches marketers are getting better ROI on Facebook than anywhere else. You have a formula for a company that's going to triple. Forrester has no idea what they are talking about mm -hmm. because they're talking to the wrong people. It's not it's not because they're a bad research company. I'm I'm I imagine they're fine, but they don't they don't know they don't know who knows. And I know because they're the they're my cousin. Does the advertising work as well B two B as it does B two C? No, actually, uh, I've got a site, isfbforme.com, which stands for Is Facebook For Me. And you can go to isfbforme.com, and you can answer 10 questions, and it will give you a score from 1 to 10 on how relevant Facebook advertising is to your business. If you get, like, less than a 6, Facebook's probably going to be, you know, number five or 10 on your list. It's not going to be number one. If you got a nine or a 10, then Facebook should be right up close to the top. And B2B companies generally won't get a very high score. Uh, on the other hand, companies that sell to consumers, co companies that sell escapism, entertainment, uh, po political stuff, religious stuff, experiences, travel, those do great on Facebook. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. Do yourself a favor and visit their homepage. It is SoTech.com. Have a great research day and rest of this research week. Please enjoy your weekend and be back here with us on Monday.